Hey, come on in. I'm gonna oil up while I'm admitting people in here. <laughs> Tell me what you're putting on tonight. What oils are you dousing yourself in? What beverages are you drinking? Welcome, come on in. This class isn't just going to be for all the mamas that have kids. This is going to be for teachers and any human that has an immune system and that is living in the times that we're living in. So that is pretty much anyone. <laughs> Water and grapefruit, bergamot, my toe and drops. Ooh, I love those drops. I have just grapefruit in my water right now. Ningxia slushy, yay! I am so low on my Ningxia that I am like using it sparingly. I need to get a bottle for my mom. Isn't it great? Like if you know people that are close to you that have Ningxia, it's great to have that backup. Like, hey, can you spot me a bottle? I'll give it to you when I get mine. Like, I feel like I live on the edge with my Ningxia. <laughs> Anyone else? We go through it so fast. Like, I think we drink it. I don't know. I think my kids just take things out of the bottle and I don't even know about it. <laughs> we have lavender, cedar, wood, and tea tree in the diffuser. It sounds so cozy. Love it. Welcome, welcome, everyone. You got fur for free. Which fur did you get, Denise? Because I, that's what I'm putting. I'm putting. Northern Lights Black Spruce on right now because that is like my jam. Any of the woodsy aromas like, um. Oh, <laughs> I got six. Oh, six, six for free. Oh. <laughs> Ningxia bottles, six Ningxia bottles for free with Andy's ER points. Yes, that's what I do, Denise. That's why I live on the edge with my Ningxia because I will order it in one order in one ER order, either mine or Brooks. And then, then I do this dance of using my points. So I have to wait for things to process. Like it is such a dance, that's why I, li that's why I say I live on the edge. And, um, and I use those little packets as like my reserve, like to go on yeah. the and stuff, but then I use them as like reserve if I like totally need it. Um, and I'm like, I limit my kids, like, you only get one, or they would be drinking the entire box of those. Um, does anyone know Katie Contopadia? Katie Contopadia, K-A-T-Y. You do? Conto, K-O-N-T-O, you know her. Awesome. As you guys are all joining, we are just kind of commenting what we are putting, what oils we're putting on tonight, and um, we'll get started in just another minute. Emily Smith. Yep. Yeah, so this is how 
Nicolette. Yeah, I was saying like all the, um, we're going to talk about some calming oils tonight, but like all the um, fir oils and pine oils, those things are bringing me comfort. But we're going to talk about like just because it's lavender or peach and calming doesn't mean it doesn't necessarily um, calm you down. Uh, you might be drawn to different oils um, of like peppermint. Sometimes peppermint calms people down. I, I love Panaway. So we're going to be talking about that tonight, um, specifically, you know, for you and for your children. Um, believe and envision. Oh, I actually have it here. My husband handed me the little believe roller. He's like, put this on. I said, okay. <laughs> Jody, you saw me at Plum Creek? You should have totally said hello. There were some people there that looked so familiar, and I was in such a daze, Jody. Like, I was... It was a very new place for me. That was the first time I was there. And I was with my very large family. And it was, sometimes can be overwhelming. It was an amazing place. You should have totally said hello. Hopefully you didn't see me on my meltdown because at the end I totally was melting down. <laughs> like get me in my van with all my oils because kids were going crazy. <laughs> um, it was a really cool place. It was nice to just be able to sit and let my kids play on that playground and be able to have an adult conversation. So, okay. Yamira, yes, that looks familiar. Yamira, yes, okay. All right, so I'm gonna get started um, talking about all things fall wellness. And as I was saying, um, and if anyone's like trying to get in, please let me know because sometimes I kind of forget about people trying to get into the room while I'm talking. Um, I was saying as you are all popping in that this is not just for mamas with kids entering school or just for teachers. Um, anyone that has an immune system and living in the times that we're living in, this is for you. So um, you will come away with four tangible areas to focus on. And the biggest thing out of all of this that I want you to take note of because we're going to talk a lot about things tonight. And it's really just about creating rhythm and routine. Rhythm and routine in your daily life, in your wellness journey, um, and working on one thing and working on it well. And I was thinking as I was kind of creating, you know, the, the, um, the agenda for tonight, I was thinking, you know, if you go and you're like, okay, one week, I'm just going to run. I'm going to run on Monday. And then next week, you're like, oh, I'm going to just go lift some weights. The next week, you're like, oh, maybe I'll do some yoga. You know, and you're not really sticking to one thing consistently daily. You're not going to see the impact. You're not really going to see the results as if you were um, really focusing on one thing and getting really good with that. I mean, that, that is pretty much the essence of everything in life. We can't do everything good all at one time. We have to focus on one thing um, and then move on. When we get that in place, we can move on. And so we are entering this fall and it is going to be a fall like unlike any other we have ever experienced. And it's just, Normally, this time of year is exciting. We're entering fall, things are, you know, seasons changing, it's getting cooler outside, we're excited for the change. It might be a little bit bittersweet, but our kids are excited to go back to school. We might be excited for them to go back to school, mamas. <laughs> yeah. um, but things are not the same as they were last year. They are drastically different for you and for our children, for our grandchildren, for any. Um, any little ones that are in our life. And so how many of you are feeling a little overwhelmed this year? You can raise your hands, you can say yes in the comments. Yeah. Tell me in the comments, how are you feeling overwhelmed? What are your pain points? What are you, um, what are you overwhelmed about? Besides COVID. <laughs> but like, is it emotion? Is it, um, is it fear of the unknown? 
is it the question, are these things really going to keep me well? Like, we're putting these things to the test, right? All these things that we've been learning about, using our oils, our supplements, our nutritional practices. Like, what is it? Hey, starting a new job at a daycare. So a new job, um, you know, all the rules that are in place to follow, are you following them properly? Like, think about... Yeah, all the rules, fear of the unknown, health and stability, so much. And if you're feeling that way, if you are feeling that fear and that stress, your children, your grandchildren, your spouse, anyone you live with is also feeling that, okay? And I know Sarah talks a lot about emotions, and we are not... We are so intricately designed that our emotions and our wellness are so related. They are so meshed together that we cannot separate them. Um, and so maybe it's the fear of being a homeschool parent for the first time. Like we had some meltdowns today. Let me tell you that. Um, you know, it's not going to be all these like beautiful rainbows and butterflies. It's going to take some adjusting. Maybe it's cyber school. Maybe it's um, sending your children back into school um, with the intention that they're going back to school, knowing that they'll have to wear masks, you know, having those deep conversations with their children. Um, but then also the fear of, well, what if things shut down again? So it, there's a lot of fear. Um, and so we're going to help you tonight <laughs> kind of just breathe. And I know I want you to put into place anything that Sarah has taught you about breathing and um, calming and, and mental stability there. Because like I said, we're not just focused on helping our children and helping ourselves um, stay above the wellness line. We're also helping with emotion. And like I said, um, this year is so different than anything we have ever experienced. And we're going into this maybe not with excitement, but with stress. And I want you to remember one thing, stress impairs the immune system. Stress increases inflammation in your body. And when inflammation is high, that is when dis-ease and imbalance and um, you know, your body's ability to fight off pathogens becomes weakened. And so we need to really be mindful of setting those boundaries, setting um, rhythm and routine in our home, um, having stress managed, because if you are under stress, your children will feel it. And I'm going to be completely honest with you. My children felt it today. We had some really strong emotions. We are homeschooling for the very first time. It was a choice that we had decided on before all of this. And I was like, well, I guess this is the choice. So whatever decision you are making, go in grace and go in just knowing that you are doing the best for your family. There is no shame. There's nothing. You know, if you choose to send your child to school, if you choose to homeschool, if you choose to cyber school, you, you are the parent. You are the grandparent. You are the aunt. You, you, you know, you are the one that knows your family the best and just have complete confidence in that decision. Um, but we had, it was just a roller coaster of emotions and, and my emotions definitely, uh, Viewed onto theirs and tension was high. Everyone was barking at each other. We as women, we are the gatekeeper of our home. If our emotions are high, it seems that, I don't know if you would all agree, you can comment, yes, agree, but it seems that if we are in good spirits, if we have things in place, if we're balanced, the home runs a lot smoother. When we are off center, when we're a little irritable, when we bark at people, that is when we see our family barking back, right? That is when we see, um, you know, siblings fight, husband and wife fight. So like I said, you're all saying, yes, agree. Um, so we really need to take that time, like Sarah shared last week, um, to wake up a little bit earlier in the morning, create that rhythm, have that me time, get grounded and get centered, do your breathing, put your oils in your diffuser, put them on, okay? 
Okay, so stress in pairs the immune system. So we really just need to help ourselves and help our children manage their stress and talk through it. So all of that being said, like I shared um, about putting our oils on and you know all the fur oils really resonate with me. And I never wanna say, oh, use this oil for your child and use this oil for your child when they're feeling this way. I want you to sit your kids down. I want you to sit down. And I want you to go through your oils and what oils really resonate with you. Which one are you like, oh my goodness, I could eat that one. I absolutely love it. I could just bathe myself in it. It gives you all those good, happy feelings. And you know, lemon does that for me. It just is like sunshine in a bottle. But Panaway also, how odd, right? Panaway, it smells like root beer to me. I mean, that's why there's a child food cap on there. Um, it smells so good and it's comforting. Even though it's a muscle supporting oil, I find comfort in it. So, and there's different emotions that it's attached to. So I want you to sit down and, and find those oils that really resonate with you and use them for you and use them for your children when emotions are running high. You know, use them in a routine in the morning, put them on, put them in the diffuser, have them in a roller bottle ready to go. My children all have roller bottles in their room. It is just something that we have created. It didn't happen overnight. It just was something we created. Um, and now they get their diffusers ready at night. They put their oils on in the morning. Mommy, can I put oils on with you in the morning? Oh, I want some of that. Don't, they're like, don't put oils on without me. So they, they just love it. It's part of our routine and it, it just sets us up for success, okay? So I'm not gonna tell you like, specific oils to use for calming and comfort tonight. I want you to do that. I want you to find what resonates with you and your family. All right. And so I'm gonna talk about four key areas for creating wellness as you go into the school year, as you go into fall and winter, right? Um, number one, no matter what your choice is for schooling, your home, I want you to create that to be a safe haven. When your children walk through the door, when you walk through the door, going to the grocery store, right? Um, I love to just have my diffuser running right inside the door. It doesn't, your home doesn't have to be clean. It just can be its own self. Your children find comfort in that. You find comfort in the little spaces. So having a diffuser set up, Having it running all day, so you go out to the grocery store, or you know your kids come home from school and it's running. Those good smells, you know, that creates this sense of, ah, I'm home, right? Stress levels go down. Okay, a big old hug. Those scents, like my home smelled like peaches simmering today and chicken cooking. It smelled like fall, and we had diffusers running. That was comfort. So type to tell me in the comments. What is comfort for you in your home? Is it calming music? Is it those smells? Like what kind of smell? Is it the cinnamon? Is it the bright and cheery smell? Is it more quiet space? Or is it loud, like hustle bustle? Sometimes, you know, if you will come from a large family, Having loudness around you is comforting. You know life is happening. And quiet is kind of like, oh, this is kind of boring. What's happening, right? So it, it could be complete opposite for many people. Maybe it's all of the above. We're using, God gave us our five senses. Okay? So this is going to help with that um, stress level. You need to know you're safe, especially in times like this. Your children need to know they're safe. Okay, keeping stress down. I love it. Lemon and lavender diffusing and a lot of music, smells. Sarah says comfort for her is music. I missed it. But the dog running around, laughter. Yes, right? And it depends on the day, Kristen. You know, um, sometimes lots of music and sometimes maybe not so much. Okay? Lots of light. Yes. Okay. So creating those spaces, you know, even twinkly lights or whatever, like even as the seasons change, the light changes, cuddling with cats, oh, yes, okay. Like, 
I'm ready. I love summer, but I also love going into the fall and those cozy events. Okay. Number two, sleep. Sleep is essential. That is when our body rests and repairs. And as we move from our summer rhythm and routines, we're drawn inward. And I know some of you don't like when that, you know, the daylight changes and we have less daylight. And I don't either, but I think that's God's way of saying, okay, time to start coming back in. Start, time to start, you know, taking that rest because summer is so full of life and we love that life, but we, God knows our body needs that rest. Needs time to come down, rest, repair, hibernate. And so sleep patterns are really important. And this is what I do. I don't know, you can type in the comments what you guys do. Um, but at nighttime, lots of calming oils. So all of those ones that you know resonate with my children, oils in the diffuser, lining them up on my bed, and putting oils, you know, with their roller bottles up and down their spine, on their feet, um, you know, bath time, reading a book. And bath time isn't every night for my children, um, but that could be one of the nights. Um, and oils on the feet that are immune supporting, which we're going to talk about later. So calming oils and immune supporting oils. And then also tea. And we don't really drink, I mean, I make little cups of tea because I really don't want bed wetters. <laughs> and if you maybe have bladder issues, you're like, yeah, I don't want to be getting up all the time, right? Um, so making a little cup of tea, just the rhythm of that, and adding some jacked up honey, which we'll talk about in a little bit towards the end. But we will make tea blends from our garden, from the herb store. But my children definitely love the teas from Young Living. I don't know if you've tried any of these, but... They love the spiced turmeric herbal tea. There's no caffeine in this. So it's giving you the turmeric, helping with inflammation, um, has the spices in it that help with immune support. But then it's also putting that routine in, right? To calm down, wind down, tea time. Lights go dim. We kind of just sit around and sip on our tea and talk about the day. It's a beautiful time. Okay. Um, so sleep. Making sure you're getting that good eight hours. Golden milk, yes, oh, so good. And you can use your, you know, spices and your oils in there too. Um, I need to try that at night. My kids do like milk at night. I should try that. We usually do that during the day. I never thought about it. Okay, number three, nutrition. I knew I was going to touch on this one. Nutrition and supplements. And I'm going to share with you our, our supplement routine. Um, and I don't know if Sarah, if you want to, uh, you know, share your supplement, supplement routine, because I, it's probably similar, but um, little backstory about, ooh, golden milk and chai with jacked up honey. Oh man, you guys give me good ideas. Um, so about six years ago, when Sawyer was born, Sawyer was born in April, and um, around October, even before that, we were having a lot of digestive issues and then constant upper respiratory infection. And digestion issues paired with antibiotics do not work, okay? And I was telling the doctor, this is ripping her gut apart, the poor thing had such a poor bottom, um, I, I can't keep doing this. And so we were seeking out alternative treatments. We found a nutritionist, uh, went to her, and then found Young Living. And so, but in the back of my mind, I kept saying, is this really working? Is this really working? Because all I've known is to take my children to the doctor when they're sick. So I went to the doctor, didn't like what they said because again, it was the, the medical system, which I, I love in time of need, but it wasn't working for my daughter. And so then I would run her down to the nutritionist. She would give me supplements. I would use my oils and the supplements I had on hand from Young Living. It was a combination. And then I finally was like, okay, I finally built up that confidence over like a how many times of running to the doctor, then down to the nutritionist, all this run around to finally say, okay, you can do this, mama, and trusting in myself. So give yourself grace because it takes time to trust yourself. Um, but this routine has worked for us over six years. It has kept our family well. Do they get sick? They still get sick from 
time to time, but they recover a lot faster and they know what to do now. They know what they need. Um, so our morning routine looks like this with supplements. Ningxia Red, every morning, two ounces. They swig it down. I put a shot of elderberry syrup in it. So this will be our fall routine. I kind of slack in the summertime, like with the elderberry syrup, but I'm gonna be starting to make it. I was just picking elderberries tonight. So if you're not familiar what elderberry plant looks like, so this is what it looks like. All these beautiful purple berries, there's some green ones. We pick this right off of our bush, throw them in a bag and freeze them. And then I pop them off when they're frozen and store them in the freezer and make elderberry syrup. You can find elderberry dried at your health food store. Um, you can find elderberry syrup already made. A lot of people make it and sell it. Um, and then you can add your oils to it. So when I make it, I add thieves and lemon to it. Sometimes I add different things. Depends how I feel. Um, but that's something we always do, elderberry syrup. Helps with your immune system. Super C chewables. And fermented cod liver oil. Young Living does have an omega gize fish oil. Um, and I'll always be honest with you with supplements I use. I use a ton of Young Living supplements, but then there's a few that I choose, you know, from other companies. I love fermented cod liver oil from Green Pastures. It's never been heated, processed. So vitamins A and D are still intact, which is so, so important. Like the actual authentic vitamins A and D. Um, our nighttime routine is a probiotic. My kids can swallow a probiotic. It's just something my husband has taught them to do. Um, but there's Mighty Pro, it's the kids version. You can just sprinkle it on yogurt. You can sprinkle it in, um, you know, they love to just take it. <laughs> when I buy it, they ask for it because it tastes like candy. I'm like, no, you can swallow the pill. <laughs> um, so you can just sprinkle it on their tongue and they'll just eat it up. It's, yeah. So uh, that's for the children's version. So making sure your gut is healthy, all of those good bacteria are there and present to fight off pathogens that your body comes in contact with is super important, okay? Um, and then we drink, you know, our thieves tea at night. So any tea that we make, and then we make our jacked up honey. And that recipe, you can search Google for it, and it'll come up, jacked up honey. You can search my website for it. It's just honey with seeds and lemon and peppermint and orange. Um, you can take a spoonful if you want to, like a natural cough syrup. I shouldn't say that, but pretty much what it is. Um, or you can put it in, in tea, and we drink that at night. So that's our, our supplement routine. But nutrition, though, really making sure you're limiting processed foods, um, those sugars because sugar, again, impairs the immune system. It increases inflammation. Any kind of sugar. Honey is sugar. Maple syrup is sugar. Raw sugar is sugar. Um, I mean, honey is better. Maple syrup is better if you want a little bit of sweetener. But try to limit it because, um, you know, that will impair your immune system. You want to keep your, your body well, and you want to keep your children well. So nutrient-dense foods. And when I say nutrient-dense foods, they're the foods with the most nutrients, lots of protein, lots of high fat, um, lots of minerals and vitamins. So some snack ideas. And Sarah, you can give us some snack ideas when, when I pass it over to you. But um, hard-boiled eggs. We do hard-boiled eggs so many different ways. Deviled eggs, pickled eggs, red meat eggs. Um, you know, eggs all the time. Um, beef jerky, if you can find a good beef jerky or meat sticks. Sometimes I just have chicken in the fridge and they just eat that. Um, fruits and vegetables cut up. Um, I'm thinking they love to make gummies with like gelatin and nixia and just something that, that they love to eat. Now, don't get me wrong, they love it's something that it's a battle that we have to like, even though they're like, oh, I'm making it homemade. Like, yes, but you can't eat the whole cake. <laughs> you can have a slice. <laughs> um, you can't eat all the cookies. You can have one. Um, so 
and I can't think off the top of my head right now. Um, but when I think nutrient dense foods, I think high protein, high fat. Okay. Limit the processed foods okay. as much as you can. And this is a slow process. Give yourself breaks. Definitely give yourself breaks. If you're going to start anywhere, start with getting rid of cereal in the morning. Because think about it, when you eat cereal the first thing in the morning or something sugary and sweet, your body is going to crave that over and over again. Even if it's a smoothie, I even say smoothies, like limit that because that's, that's still high sugar. Those, all those fruits and then if you add any honey to it or anything, um, save that for maybe like a later afternoon snack. Um, do eggs in the morning, bacon, ham. Um, my kids sometimes eat cheeseburgers for breakfast, like just a regular old cheeseburger. And um, I'm okay with that. Uh, or make baked oatmeal. You know, um, so Sarah, I know you're kind of on this very same journey, right? Anything that you want to add to this as far as your supplement routine, your nutrition, because I think this is really a key puzzle piece in staying above the wellness line. Would you agree? Okay. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yes, yeah, Sarah. And you had so many great things to share. So just thank you. I'm always, always learning, you know, every time. That's why I love these workshops and I love this community so much too, because we can learn from each other. So I am, um, I am not, you know, at the same place as you. And like I said, I feel like it's important that we all give ourselves grace, like Sarah said, um, because some of you might be watching and your kids might eat a lot of processed foods, right? Um, some of you might be watching and your kids, like when she said her kids eat cheeseburgers for breakfast, my son will not touch a cheeseburger with a 10 foot pole. Like he was a, um, he was a vegetarian up until just recently. Um, we introduced him to bacon for the 87th time and he finally took a bite of it like it's so funny that that's what I'm trying to you know convince my son to eat but it's been little steps you know little steps along the way because in the beginning um with him only eating vegetables it was very tricky because I knew the importance of fat and I knew the importance of protein especially for brain development um, it is vital. It is vital. It's vital for all of us too, still for our, our, you know, the longevity of, of our neurological functioning. So I feel like that is still very true, but it's especially important when you have these little developing minds. So what we do, um, we do tons of hard boiled eggs as well. We always have a whole dozen, um, hard boiled eggs and we're only a family of three, but we all times we have a dozen hard boiled eggs in our refrigerator. We do, um, we do different types of cheeses. We do, um, I do tons of, like right now I'm thinking obviously like of other things, like I do lots of things from the garden. So whatever we have, like we do kale chips. I have kale chips 24 seven in my house because you can get protein, um, and fiber from kale as well. And we, we don't have cereal. We don't have cereal at all. So we do a lot of full fat yogurt in the morning. One of my favorite meals is full fat yogurt um, with a little bit of granola. And then it will have like add nuts to it. Um, add, you know, maybe like some chia seeds to it. Add some whatever's fresh, fresh, you know, for that season, we'll kind of add to it as well, whatever we have on hand. So that's something that we like to do that's definitely full fat, um, high protein. And right now we do a lot of soaked oats. So we do a lot of like overnight oats because they're easy. And then you can also adjust like how much sweetener you put into them. And they're super easy. Like you do not really need a recipe for them, but you can take um, oats. You know, you want to make sure that also the quality of oats that you're getting is is a good quality oat as well. Um, so I take those, I put them into mason jars. I'll scoop a little bit of that in. I will put milk into it. I'll put full fat yogurt into it. I will put, um, you know, again, like whatever kind of I have hanging out. So this week it was peanut butter. We did a lot of peanut butter mixed in with the oats. Um, a hint of maple syrup. And then in the morning time, 
you just put it in the mason jar, let it sit overnight. So I literally do these like three days in advance for my entire family. So I have nine nine of them that are sitting in the fridge. So that works for breakfast or that works for lunch. And you can add a little bit of vanilla to it, right? Which doesn't add sweet, but it adds a little bit of like flavor to it too. Um, and it makes a huge difference because now, you know, if anyone is hungry at any time, I'm like, oh, go get some oats. And then we pull that out and that's something easy. So during the cooler months, I like to do baked oatmeal and I'll sweeten that with like um, applesauce. Or, you know, again, like whatever is fresh and kind of of the moment, but we do a ton of eggs. We do um, a lot of butter, like butter on bread and things like that too. So we are a work in progress by all means, but I'm always just trying to offer healthy options. So I'll be like, okay, you know, put out, like I know Sarah and her family, they do like um, almost like a charcuterie board for different meals. And we do that for lunchtime. Um, sometimes for dinner time too, I'll just kind of put out a slew of healthy options and then let, let him choose. Um, that way I know at least he's getting something good, but he still has that bit of control too. And that's something that helped me very much in the beginning. We do a ton of hummus um, as well, like a ton of hummus and guacamole and things like that too. So, and then when, as far as you had talked about supplements too, so I'll just share a little bit. We do a lot of similar things, a couple things that are different. So it's nighttime now. Um, and in the evening time, what I do personally, I take our citrus CBD. So I love that. It helps me sleep like a baby, like a baby who actually sleeps. I don't know why people say that, but it helps me sleep really soundly. Um, in addition, I take our Life9 probiotic. I take that in the evening. And right now I've been taking thyramine as well because I feel a little more fatigued. I feel as though when you are stressed out, that can, you know, attack your adrenals. And even though I don't have a, I don't have a thyroid condition per se, um, I definitely feel a little bit more fatigued when I'm stressed out and when I'm going through transitions in my life. And right now is a transition period. So I am giving my thyroid a little bit more support. So I, I love that. Like I love thyramine. I don't use it tw like 365 days a year, but I do love it. Then in the daytime, what I really love, um, I use Master Formula. I know Denise is on here and she uses it as well. That's our multivitamin. I love it because I had been kind of piecemealing some things together before, but now what has worked really well for me is our Master Formula. Um, I do Sulfurzyme for, uh, you know, for some gut health, for hair, skin, and nails. I do Ningxia. Those are my three that like I always do. I also have a whole a whole cabinet of goodies that I pull from as needed. But those are my three that I always do every day just as a daily, you know, nutrition base. And then for my son, my son is four. Um, what I do for him, I do our Mighty Vites. He loves them so much. I do a fish oil supplement for him too. Um, if anybody's interested in that, I can let you know. That's not a Young Living product, but I, I do that. I do a little chewable tablet because my son does not swallow pills, but um, he takes his fish oil like it's nobody's business, never complains about it. He's taken that for a long time. And then I also give him Mighty Pro, which is the one that tastes like a pixie stick. And I have to hide that from him because he like thinks it's the coolest thing in the world. And he loves that. But a couple other supplements that I just wanted to talk about too, like to have on hand supplements that are going to go out of stock. Okay. And I'm not just telling you this to be like, run and do this. And I'm telling you this because if I don't say it, then you're going to be like, I never heard this. You never told me. So I'm going to tell you. Anybody have any guesses of what supplements I'm going to talk about right now? If you know, type them in the comments. What is going out of stock? What should we stock up on for fall and winter? Like, tell me those things. Because tell, like, it is like clockwork. The first year, I remember people talking about this. I was like, whatever. They're just trying to get me to buy this stuff. And then I was there in like October and I'm like, oh my gosh, where are these things? And yeah, so let's just talk about it now. Let's just be honest and get it out on the table. So Denise said super C. Yes. Okay. Like super C and there, Melinda said it too. Super C, get it now. Like get it, get it. As soon as you see that stuff go in stock, get that stuff. I prefer the chewable because I just told you my son doesn't swallow pills. 
and I can use the chewable with my little guy. I use it with me. I use it with my husband. Shoot, I'll use it for my mom if she just stops in the house. I'm like, take a super C, go on your way. Like, it is no joke. We love that stuff. And now, the reason that that is so good too is because it is actually made with orange oil. So the difference is that typical vitamin C supplements, they can only isolate ascorbic acid out of the entire molecular chain when it comes to the supplement, you know, vitamin C, which if you think about it this way without getting super nerdy science, but like here, right here is like vitamin C. And if you remember back to chemistry class, like with all the molecules, right? Vitamin C is made up of a lot of different parts, a lot of different chains. So man can only replicate ascorbic acid. And that's why if you take a look at anything, next time you're at a store, look at the supplements. It will say vitamin C from ascorbic acid. I promise you, if you find something that doesn't say that, send it my way. Because I'm telling you, like, when I heard this, it totally made, it expanded my mind so much. So ours is different because you're getting that whole molecule, okay? The entire thing. You're getting orange from orange oil, which sounds like a no-brainer, but <laughs> then your body can actually absorb and use that full vitamin C rather than just taking that one little piece that's going to be a little bit effective, but your body needs the whole goodness that God put here, which is actual vitamin C from food. So our, that's why our supplements are so great. Um, so I love that stuff. There is a pill form as well. Um, I've never gotten it because we always just stock up. I think I have three things of super C chewables in my house right now. Like no joke. I got it covered. Inner defense. Denise said that. Yes. Inner defense is like... When stuff is going down, <laughs> like stuff, just any stuff is going down in your house, you need to have inner defense on hand. And it's a beautiful thing because the way that I use it, you can pop like as many of those kind of as you want within a day. I'm not going to say to take a whole bottle, but I've taken up to like five to eight of them a day. If I, if, if stuff is going down, you know, like in, you get what I'm talking about. For my son, I pop them open and I put them down his spine and I put them on the bottom of his feet. And I do that before bed. If stuff is really going down and like, if, if I know my son is laying in bed at any time during the day, <laughs> anytime, because he never stops moving, then I will literally take it, pop it and do it like in the middle of the day. Maybe I'll do it at morning, noon and night on his spine and on the bottom of his feet. He's four and I do that for him. So you want those. Um, thieves cough drops. Yes. They are like, I, again, I think I have four of them inside. I am no joke. I am that person who is stockpiling all this stuff because they are worth every single penny. I don't care what you say when you look and you're like, oh, they're however much money. No way. When my husband like needed the support of those, um, he was so thankful that I was that person who had like three bags because that is the only thing that gave him relief that and, and jacked up honey as well. But so easy to just have one of those cough drops in. Um, and another supplement. Yes. Oh my gosh, Melinda, you were like spot on. Another supplement is Immu Pro. I always get them. Yeah. Immu Pro that has zinc in it. Okay. So do your research on zinc and vitamin C and all the things that are going on right now, because those are the two things that like everyone is telling you about that are effective. Like even mainstream media is telling you zinc and vitamin C, zinc and vitamin C. Immu, Immu Pro, I do not use every night. Okay. It helps you to sleep. And while you sleep, your immune system does its thing. Your immune system is able to fight whatever is happening and, and your body is able to heal. You're, you need sleep in order to heal. Like your body is amazing and capable of these incredible things. It can heal itself. However, we don't let it a lot of times, right? Or, or we're unable to get that rest. So Immu, Immu Pro is amazing. Again, I use it on my four-year-old when needed. I break it in half and I give him half, half a, a capsule and he sleeps well. He's very well rested. And, and nine times out of 10, he wakes up feeling just good as new. And that's the same thing for myself and for my husband too. Thieves mouthwash, that's what Melinda said. Not really a supplement, but yeah, I definitely have that. Why? 
Anybody know the secret ingredient that's in Thieves mouthwash that makes it like unbelievably amazing? Melinda, I bet you do. Let's see, who knows the secret ingredient? Yes, colloidal silver. How many of you use colloidal silver? Do any of you use it in your home? We have a bottle that's probably like this big and um, it is so wonderfully healing for your body. We, Young Living does not have it besides it is in the mouthwash. So it is a, it is a blessing and a half and you can just take that and gargle to get some relief in your throat and also like a little preventative action if you've been around anybody funky. Um, we love that. We love it. I get my colloidal silver from my chiropractor because I know that it's sourced well um, over at Berks County Chiropractic if you're local, but there are other places I'm sure that, you know, have good colloidal silver as well. And the one that I love, we can take orally. So we take that orally. I'll even add that to my Ningxia. Not daily. I don't do it daily, but I do it as needed. Okay. Um, and sniffles, and that's an oil. Yes, Melinda, sniffles is the bomb. You can just rub it right on your kids and or yourself because I love it too. And now this year is going to be the chest rub. I think that's it, right? Like, did we miss anything? Chest rub. I mean, there's a couple others that too. Immu Power is a really great oil too. Yes, <laughs> look at that. It smells. I don't like it at all, but I will always have that. And I will, it, I call it thieves on steroids. I should probably not say steroids, but I did. There's no steroids in it, just to let you know. But yeah, we are right, Melinda, we are right here. I see you. <laughs> and yeah, and Denise said Egyptian gold. And I don't even think that's for sale right now, but if you see that as a freebie, you better get on it because Egyptian gold is amazing. It is so so awesome. Like look up those individual oils. They are just life-giving. So life-giving. So I feel like we need to make a list, Sarah, and I can do this, make a list of like, I thought I did this already, but I didn't of like the fall and winter must-haves, like almost like a shopping list. Because even for myself, when I go through, I want to make sure I have enough of these things to put in our cabinet. Do you know what I'm saying? Because the beautiful thing is that you can have these tools and you can feel in, like empowered by them. It's incredible. Um, and I won't go anywhere without, without them either. So yeah, I'll make a list of those. I'll make a shopping list. I think like I have, I have one, but I will have to find it again. Cause I think a lot of these are on there. You hit a lot of, um, a lot of the must haves. Um, cause I know this, you know, I was going through, I just placed my order and I was like, okay, what am I stocking up on? What am I stocking up on? Because if you are brand new uh, to Young Living, uh, I mean, now more than ever, like for them to be able to keep up with the supply because of their high quality, you know, things will go out of stock and then come back in. Think about the hand sanitizer if you were around when this whole thing hit, you know, they were trying to keep up. Um, so keeping the hand sanitizer in stock. Um, the thieves spray that comes in the kit, that little one, it's a little bit different than the thieves cleaning spray because it has alcohol in it. So I love that for like inside of a face mask, on shopping carts. I mean, I have a stockpile. So Sarah, you said some really, really good ones. Um, and Immu Power. Um, yeah, the smell doesn't smell great, but I will use that if like thieves is just like, Whatever's happening in their body isn't doing the trick. I'm like thieves and then immune power on top. Like that's at nighttime. Um, we're all during the day, you know. And if you pair it with thieves, it doesn't smell as bad, but don't just use it. Just, just use it. Um, so yeah, Sarah, you hit on some really, really great ones. And I loved your tips for the nutrition. Because not every, you know, not every child is, you know, their taste buds are, are just developing. So depending on their age and so just give yourself grace as you go through with the nutrition as well. Start baby steps. Um, this last, the last one, which I think we hit on a lot of it already, but thieves, number four. So number one was safe haven. Create a safe haven in your home. Number two, get sleep. And that's where Sarah said, Immu Pro. Um, I will use it on my kids every now and then uh, because it does, have a it does have a tiny bit of melatonin in it, not a lot. Um, 
but your body will need to rest and repair. So that really helps. So I will give a half a tablet um, for sleep if need be, or for myself if I'm running strong and I cannot, my mind is not shutting off. Um, sleep. Three was nutrition. Four. This is the last point. Thieves. Thieves, thieves, and more thieves. Have that pumping in diffusers in your home. Your, your, you know, when your kids enter the home, when you enter the home, you can mix orange with it. You can mix citrus fresh. I love to mix stress away with it because it smells like a snickerdoodle. So you can get creative with it. Um, so it's not just straight thieves coming out of your diffuser. Because I know we all love like the different scents and the fall scents. So just, you can mix and match it with some other oils. Uh, but have that pumping out of your diffuser. Drink it. Spray it, apply it. Again, drink it in the jacked up honey. You know, put it in your tea or just take a spoonful of it. Um, and that's really, your jacked up honey is just another immune support. And then I loved last year sending in hand sanitizers, big bottles to my classroom teachers, to all the kids' classroom teachers. And I did it quarterly or as they said they needed it. Because here's the thing, and I was just researching, FDA just keeps coming out FDA, yes, keeps coming out with more and more um, companies where hand sanitizers are toxic. Like, beware. And we don't have to compromise. We get to choose a clean hand sanitizer that doesn't have methanol, that doesn't have one um, propanol. Okay, that's the newest one. I think one propanol. It's these chemicals that are in that, um, if consumed by little kids or if just used in abundance, and create toxicity in our body. Remember, your skin is the largest organ, okay? And we don't want to be killing all the good bacteria because we still have microbiome all over our body. We have microbes that it's like our first responders to help with pathogens that our body comes in contact with. And so if we're killing and stripping everything, then our first line of defense is gone. So we need to be able to keep, you know, those good microbes and get rid of the bad. Um, having thieves in your hand soap, whether you purchase Young Living hand soap or you make your own with thieves and Dr. Bronner's Castile soap. Uh, super easy to make. If you need that recipe, reach out to me. This is like the simplest thing to do. Um, and my kids can make it, and I think you make it in under like a minute, and it's like a dollar to make. So you can do this. It's going to keep the good microbes, um, get rid of the bad, the bad germs. Um, rolling your thieves on your feet on your spine, um, using it in your supplements, in like Inner Defense. Inner Defense has frankincense. It has all the oils that are in seeds. It also has oregano. So if you need that extra support, you can take it. I don't take Inner Defense every day, only when I feel like not myself, right? And I will just pop them <laughs> until I feel myself, right? So safe haven, keep your home a safe haven, lower that stress, get your sleep, your body can rest and repair. Proper nutrition is really important, um, especially now, you know, the holidays are upon us in, you know, Halloween, November, comes like all the pies and the cakes and the Christmas. So more reason to have those sweets, but really just um, try your hardest to stay away from them. And then thieves all the way, okay? If you are um, brand new to this, Sarah and I can help you Get started with you know all of these things just you know reach out to one of us the starter kit is the best way to go because you get all of those amazing oils and then you can add on get ninja in there to try uh, but then there's also the thieves starter kit if you just want to have a safe haven and create a clean safe home with the thieves cleaners um, that's another option if you're not on essential rewards that's one way to start stocking up the thieves cough drops. And my kids will take those cough drops and they crack them in their teeth. I know my mom would probably be cringing, but they break them or I break them with like, you know, a little hammer. And we just take little pieces of them to make them last because they just like to take them because they, you know, they're gummy. Um, but then I thought, you know, what's the point? You know, what's, what's worse, candy or thieves in their mouth? You know, getting that immune support. So it's a good way to stock up, essential rewards. You get points back and you can stock up every month, add a little bit more to your wellness cabinet. So um, anything else, Sarah? Next week, you have the emotional class. Do you want to share a little bit about that? 
Yeah, sure. Um, no, and like I said, uh, Sarah and I, we have these Monday evenings planned. So we'll be kind of going back and forth. I'll be doing an emotional topic basically every other week, just because it's something that I love to discuss. Um, it's something that I'm very passionate about. And it's something that I feel like there's a big need for right now. Um, and always, always, but right now, especially with just all the emotions running higher um, than typical. So next week, I am teaming up with another uh, amazing educator in our community. Her name is Jill Chamberlain. And she and her husband have owned a chiropractic practice for over 25 years. And they, they're just a wealth of knowledge. So what we are focused on next week is something that we called um, letting go and unlocking your true potential. So basically, the evening is going to be focused on um, four strategies, four focal points, four techniques in order for you to really just let go of your, I call it your GAF factor, which is your give a freak factor to censor it. Um, so yeah, because I don't need to start cursing on another zoom call. So, because these are recorded, so your give a freak factor, like to just dial it back. So we're going to talk about that. And what that means is just, you know, you living your life for you, um, and really just letting go of the lies that have been told to you, the lies that you have believed, um, and perhaps some lies that you might be putting onto your children which is a little deep, but just through the way that, you know, that you're choosing to live your life, which is possibly for someone else. So we are really going to talk. It's going to be a deep one. It's going to be a deep, deep discussion. Um, but that is next week. That is Monday evening. That is from eight o'clock until nine o'clock. And we are pumped, like so pumped. We do these worksheets, workshops on Monday evenings, just because it's something that we're really passionate about. We talk about things that we love and then some things that we think that, oh, we love this and perhaps you would find it helpful too. So we're always looking for feedback. If there's something that you would like us to cover, um, please let myself know, please let Sarah know. Um, and if there's something that you would like to discuss, like if there's something that you would like to share, let us know because we would love to partner up with you to have more voices be shared. Like Melinda, you should have totally been on this call tonight. Should have let us know because you clearly have the list already made and I'm loving that. So just let us know about that too. Um, but in the meantime, you know, welcome to everyone who is just joining us. This is the best community to be a part of. It really is. So just know that we're all here to help to support one another, no matter where you're at in your journey. Um, because we didn't know any of these things either. None of them, none of them. We learn from each other. Yep. It's definitely just, you know, the fun of it too, the fun of learning from each other. That's the beauty of the thing of it. So thank you, Sarah. I'm excited for that um, workshop next week. And if you are looking for more in-person workshops, um, I am partnering with another beautiful woman in our community. She is in the Young Living community. Um, she is local in Lidditt. She's a naturopathic um, practitioner. She is like a neighbor to me. And I've learned so much about um, herbal medicine. And we are going to be teaming up and teaching a class on herbal remedies. So teas, how to make your own teas, tinctures, um, salves. And I'm going to be teaching on how to make elderberry syrup if you're wanting to learn about that. So um, that can be found in my folk school tab in my web, on my website, wellfolkrevival.com. Or you can just reach out. Especially, that's next Saturday. Not this Saturday. Next Saturday morning. The three-hour workshop. Thank you, Sarah, for the website. <laughs> um, so uh, that was a lot. And I'm going to leave you with this. Consistency, routine, rhythm. Choose one area that we talked about tonight. Is it incorporating Niksha? Is it taking a fish oil supplement? Rolling your feet. Like, what are you gonna get really good at? You can type it in the comments. Because if you try to do all of this stuff at one time, you're gonna get frustrated and overwhelmed, okay? Because it's a lot. Start with one area, get really good with it. Do it over and over and over again. Kind of like spinning plates. And you add another one, okay? If it wasn't for my kids, I would forget my supplements. 
they are the ones that pour the nick shit in the morning. They get the, the super seeds out. They get the fish oils out. I'm a complete mess. They remind me. So instill it in your kids, okay? Get a good routine. Wish you all well. Have a beautiful rest of the evening and um, just a great start to the fall season. Have confidence. Okay, you can do that. Thank you, Sarah, for allowing me to jump on your Monday night calls. I'm excited to just partner with you and do this. So I really appreciate you allowing me to do that. All right, have a good night. Bye, everyone.